hello welcome back to today's video if you're new welcome welcome i am ellie brown from uptown with ellie brown and i'm so glad to have you here today thanks for stopping by thanks for tuning in and watching today's video don't forget if you're new or if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe hit that like button come follow am i missing anything i don't think i'm missing anything let's just jump right in okay let's just let's just get into it We ain't got a lot of time to waste. I am also running on like four hours of sleep. <laughs> I got into watching Bridgerton and I am like midway through. It got really good, really quick by the way. But you know, I've got my, my energy drink here. I'm just trying to stay awake and trying to uh, get stuff done today while the kids are all in school. But I thought, you know what, let's hop on here, sit down, chat a little bit about cream eyeshadows. Before I forget though, word of the day. Word of the day. Wow, I can't talk. Okay, so for today's word of, the, word of the day, why can I not say that? You see, this is why you should get sleep and not go to bed at one o'clock in the morning because then the next day you can't think straight. You can't even pronounce words. So today's word of the day is eyeshadow. And in Portuguese, that is called sombra. Say it with me again, sombra. S-O-M-B-R-A, sombra. Um, so that's today the word, and let's jump straight into cream eyeshadows, shall we? Okay, so I've talked about it here, here and there, and I just figured I needed to really just sit down and kind of like do a video and talk a little bit more about these eyeshadow sticks. I have tons of them just because I think, listen, if you don't like playing with eyeshadows, you don't want to spend a lot of time blending colors and doing the full look, I think cream eyeshadows are perfect um, to get a little bit of color. They're easy to blend. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time. There's not much skill that is, I guess, required to use these. But you have your cream eyeshadows that come in like, you know, in the form of, of a, a pen. Again, you've got your ones in a little pot. And then also you have some that come in like this um, that you can also use. Again, like the options just to show you that there are just a lot of different type of cream eyeshadows that you can find that you know fits your your need and what you want. As far as brands, there's so many. I'm gonna list some of my favorites down below, but just to kind of mention here in the video, Nude Stick is good, Laura Mercier is good, Charlotte Tilbury has a few good ones, Kiko that you can find on Amazon. And just to show you, I mean, so if you just want to do something super quick and kind of apply the color and then blend out with your finger, you can. I mean, obviously this is a somewhat of a, of a sloppy job here, but it's just a little bit of color. It's easy to use. Again, the options really with this is just you have a lot of options. They're really easy to use. Again, you can find so many different colors. They're very well pigmented. They're also very creamy. Laura Mercier has some of my favorite ones. I am gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do a smoky eye here. Um, something that's a little bit more smoked out. Um, and I'll just do my makeup real quick and, and we'll kinda, I'll show you how, how I personally use them. Um, so let's just get into that. Now, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier and this is in color Tuxedo. This is one of their matte colors, but we're gonna go in with the black here and I'm just gonna keep the black on the outer here. And then I'm just gonna fan it out a little bit because I'm gonna create somewhat of a lifted look. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a small brush and I'm gonna buff this out. And the nice thing about this is you can really make it soft and kind of really smoke it out as you see here. You can really smoke it out you can go back in with that black and just kind of build your color also and then what I'm gonna do now is let me see if 
if I can find. This is, this is the metallic taupe. And then what I'm gonna do here on the inner, this is a really pigmented color as you can see. And then I'm actually just gonna use my finger and tap. And there you go, that's a soft, smoky eye look. You can see just two colors, very little work. Didn't take a lot as, uh, at all to do. Um, and then even if you wanted to go back and you wanna make this a little bit more, um, like more precise out here, you can take your, your cleansing water, your micellar water, get your flat brush, and you can even clean this out a bit. There you go, you clean it up a bit and you have more of that cat eye winged smoked look. Um, and then again, you can play around with the intensity, with the color. If you wanna add more black, you can. You can kind of keep it a little bit more softer. I need to just touch up this very corner here a little bit, it looks like. But yeah, isn't that easy? So again, you can do something like this, or you can take an all over uh, shadow, just a, a simple color, like let's say, I've got this Charlotte Tilbury one. This is one that, another favorite of mine. This is um, Marie Antoinette. It's um, in the little pot. And then what you can do with something like this that, that's in a pot, you can take a flat brush. I'm trying to figure one out. This is a good one from Sephora, but just something that looks like this. And then what you're gonna do, just apply a little bit on the brush. And you can just apply the color all over. And then what I like to do if I'm applying just one color all over, I like to blend the product outward so it's not just on my lid, but it just looks like it's diffused. But there's that too, just a simple color all over. Those are two different looks. Let's, let's finish the eye over here. I wonder what it would look like if I uh, went to school pickup like this. But here I am applying just some mascara. So I know this mascara here, this drugstore, this is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. This mascara is so good. And I've been wearing it nonstop just because it's so good. It doesn't clump. It gives some fullness and lint to your lashes. Ooh, look at that. This is a really pretty, actually, like holiday um, smoky eye look too. Um, super simple. Again, didn't take a lot, a long time. You saw me apply the black, apply the shimmer, blend a little bit, and then you're good to go. Um, I do probably though, it's 1.30, almost 1.30. I have to pick up the kids in like 20 minutes. Let me go clean this eye off, do the same on this eye, finish, do a quick makeup, and then I'll pop back in for you guys to see the full look and what it would look like. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you think? <coughs> what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Let me know down below. The full look took less than 10 minutes to do. Um, just throw on some foundation, bronzer, blush, highlighter, um, concealer, lip color, and you're good to go. The lip color that I am, um, I've been playing around with her her products. This is uh, Danessa Myricks. Her products are lip, eyeshadow, and cheek products. Um, so far, I've used it a few, uh, a couple of times, a few times, probably maybe three or four times, um, and I've really liked. I have not tried this specific color as a blush color or an eyeshadow color, but I love it as like just a little bit more of a warm um, fall color. I think it's very, very pretty. I'll link this color down below, but it's in ballet slippers. I think this also as a blush color, um, really blended out would be really, really pretty. But yeah, this is the look here. You can see close up of the eye. Um, 
I think it's a really pretty holiday look as well as we go into the holidays. If you want to add, ooh, la la la, <laughs> HF, um, If you want to add some lashes for more of a fanned out look or a red bold lip, you can do that as well. It's super easy, not a lot of colors, just two colors. You're just blending it out and you know, you can create however much smoky and really dramatic if you want. Um, there's so much option there with this. But yeah, I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, what do you think? Have you tried cream ash eyeshadows? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, what are your favorite brands? Let me know down below. I hope this video helped. Um, and if you buy any of these products, make sure to let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. What do you think? Did you end up liking it? Did, did it not? Um, and if you're not following on social media, come, come say hi. I gotta go pick up the kids now, mom duty. And I will see you guys here again soon. Have a great day. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, ring that little bell or hit that little bell so you can get notifications when the next video goes live. And, and yeah, have a beautiful day guys. See you again soon. Bye.